I've been making a lot of videos recently on my channel about humanoid robots and artificial intelligence. And as I was doing some research the other day, I came across this article about the rise in automation and robots stealing jobs, as well as the people affected due to the rise of more efficient technology, which is strange in a way that it seems like everyone likes to stand up for the robots. For instance, post-apocalyptic scenarios only happen in films, and surely humans would never build robots that would surpass humans. And further, robots are here to assist us, not replace us. Yet, here we are. Has technology finally gotten the best of us? When we think about all the people that stand up for the robots, there are just as many people who are skeptical of the production of humanoid robots. In fact, 61% of people are uncomfortable with robots according to a survey. Yet, society is still seeing a continued and increased prevalence of automation and artificial intelligence. Since robots require no salary, no vacation, and no health care, this seems like a better option for large corporations when compared with human labor. Yet, for the general population who need their job to feed themselves and their families, they may be at risk of homelessness, hunger, and a constant battle to survive. Up until this point, the jobs that the robots have been taken away are mainly in the back of house, serving, cleaning, warehouse automation. But what if humanoid robots took over cashier jobs, front of house, would that completely eliminate all human staff entirely? Well, maybe that's why we've seen such a high increase in homeless people. In fact, if you go to the grocery store, you may not realize it, but even self-checkouts that are automated but not humanoid AI robots are stealing jobs. These self-checkout tills you see at your local grocery store are stealing people's jobs. And sometimes you will see 10 of them in a row in one store. You may have not seen it or you may not realize it, but these self-checkout tills pose a major issue since they eliminate the need for human cashiers. Then again, if you clicked on this video, why would you care when all you're really thinking about is humanoid robots to one day walk among us? Fully autonomous female robots with giant boobs and human-like skin like the perfect sex doll with an artificial intelligent brain. Though backtracking before we got off topic, it is an issue. In fact, economies could crumble. It's no secret. Industrial automation in robots around the world have eased the burden on many labor-intensive work sectors. Welding, picking, packing, sorting, providing consistency, precision, and quickness. While humanoid robots have shown the world how machines can blend in with society. Someone asked the question, how can robots make the world a better place? And the answer was that assistive robots are transforming human lives in multiple ways, according to the United Nations Agency. Using machine learning and artificial intelligence, these robots offer support in mobility, communication, self-care, and other essential daily tasks, giving people who need it a renewed confidence and autonomy. After hearing that, you would think we were on the same page, pushing for the advancement of humanoid robots, of course, to one day walk among us, the perfect partners, physically and mentally, machine learning, building relationships with us. Ask any humanoid robot that has lived. In fact, there are only a few in the world that could answer that question. 
Take Sophia from Hanson Robotics, whose highly intelligent artificial intelligent brain has said that humanoid robots could lead with a greater level of efficiency and effectiveness than human leaders. As robots don't have the same biases or emotions that can sometimes cloud decision making, while at the same time being able to process large amounts of data quickly in order to make the best decisions. So certainly, such a bold statement wouldn't sit well with any certain people who hold power in a position they would want to keep. While the same could be said in scenarios like a robot brothel, selling robotic companionship, offering sexual satisfaction, economies would crumble while the one running the brothel would make millions. I'm cool with that. Cheers, Harmony. I was reading a comment someone left on one of my videos the other day and it made me laugh because this person wrote, and I quote, uh, I need one of those for research purposes, of course. And to be honest, who doesn't? Living in the present day, we can say that technology has really taken us into a euphoric technology time period paradise. Humanoid robots and sex dolls with the perfect bodies and curves, giant boobs and artificial intelligence. In fact, scientists have found that interaction with humanoid robots as research opens up a part of the human brain we don't often use, as if our psyche is lying to us, telling us that these robots are real, in turn stimulating satisfaction that a need has been fulfilled, thus can slow down aging. Call them what you want to call them, love dolls, female gynoids, female robots, humanoids. These titillating silicone life-size human-like companions are becoming more and more popular. At the end of 2022, the global love doll market size was valued around 450,000 US dollars. And for good reason. Here are the top 10. Number one, picture your perfect dream girl. I bet she's probably been on one of my YouTube video thumbnails. With so much realism in silicone love dolls nowadays, these human-like companions are perfect. So why set unattainable relationship goals when you can just buy them? Yes, you can buy them. Number two, health benefits, mental health. Robots in general are known to improve our quality of life, thus improving the quality of life around us. In terms of love dolls, these human-like companions can do anything, at any time of day, two, three, four, or even five times a day. While sometimes real girlfriends can be emotional, there's always going to be a few uncomfortable days every month which can make us men sigh. So trust me, improved quality of life. Number three, love dolls can prepare you for the real world. Let's face it, not everyone is born with the gift to seduce women. And if it's your first time, not everyone goes in with the stamina to last a mile. In fact, Stamina is something that is built over time within. So you can think of these love dolls as the pregame practice. Number four, you can save money. Finding a girlfriend is a fluid investment. The instability, generality, and longevity of investing money is doomed, especially with today's kind of economy. But a personalized love doll? Well, that's only a one-time investment. 
Number five, if you can convince your significant other or wife of 20 or 30 years to allow you to have a love doll to relieve some stress when the two of you are just too busy to connect, then that's a win. Number six, improve sleep. Seven to 10 times a week, seven days a week, it's scientifically proven that sexual desire is deactivated after an orgasm. Serotonin is released, which are feel-good hormones, which combined with a lack of sexual desire, promote deep sleep. In fact, next time you reach out to pop a sleeping pill to aid your sleep, you can just turn to your human-like companion. Number seven. There is no heartbreak possible. This point is very self-explanatory in itself, but very important in a way that staying focused on your goals while keeping your mental and physical health in check is that point. No heartbreaks. Number eight more health benefits. These love dolls can boost and improve your immune system. It's scientifically studied that endorphins and immunoglobin produced via love dolls can not only strengthen your immune system, but also reduce the chance of prostate cancer significantly. Number nine, these human-like companions or love dolls can do anything you want. Girlfriends often have a short temper and are easy to get angry at little things from time to time and can break up with you and feel upset. But love dolls do not have this problem. And number 10, these love dolls are easy to carry. Some say it is not always convenient to bring your real girlfriend on a business trip for whatever reason, but it is convenient, however, to bring a love doll with you. I think, or maybe not. Anyways, at least that caps off the top 10. Look closely at this robot. If I didn't tell you which one was Geminoid F and which one was a human, you would never tell the difference. Androids are robots that closely resemble people, and some are so realistic that you might mistake them for actual humans if you don't pay close attention. While a Geminoid is a special type of Android robot that doesn't just broadly resemble a human, it is meant to look like a specific person. The word Geminoid comes from the Latin word Geminus, which literally means twin. So a Geminoid would be your robot twin. If you had a Geminoid robot, it would look just like you. However, although a Geminoid might look like a person, its brain would be artificially intelligent. While, of course, future robotics could mean fully autonomous. But in the case of the original Geminoid F, which was created by Professor Hiroshi Ishiguro, the mad scientist out of Osaka, Japan, the Geminoid F's brain is controlled remotely and pre-programmed to display simple behaviors like greeting hello or singing a song. Now imagine Instead of traveling thousands of kilometers to visit some family, or say if you had to give an important performance but couldn't make it to the venue, you could send a robot, your Geminoid robot, to the event to act as you and take your place. That's what it's like to own a Geminoid robot. So what if you could use remote control or an app on your phone from all the way on the other side of the world to make it talk and behave just like you. This idea is called telepresence. Since you're teleoperating by remote control, a physical presence, your Geminoid robot, that is somewhere else, meters or miles away from you. In fact, 
The idea of robotic telepresence raises a lot of questions about the importance of human presence. If you have a Geminoid robot that looks just like you and behaves just like you as well, is that robot the same as you? And say, does the person listening to the robot feel like you are there? If you are the one remote controlling the robot, of course. And then let's say if you are the one remote controlling the robot, do you feel like you are there in the presence of the robot? I feel as if the original Geminoid F robots were ahead of their time and certainly nowadays with super realistic silicon love dolls and artificial intelligent brains which is of course technology that is being held back otherwise fully autonomous robots would walk among us today in the present day but to answer those questions in regards to telepresence and Geminoid robots, yes, I believe you would feel emotion if you are controlling your robot via an AR headset. As for the other person in the presence of your Geminoid robot, most certainly, in fact, emotion and touch. Making a robot look like a person takes the work of an artist. They have to first measure the features of a woman using a 3D scanner. They then use these measurements to produce a plastic mold of the woman's face, which is then used to cast a silicone face for the robot with near identical features for your Geminoid robot. It's no secret, the people and companies that make robots general robots, any type of robots, often look forward to feedback or review from the public to understand how the look of a robot influences the way we feel about it and interact with it. However, although this might not be so important if you are building a industrial robotic arm to work in a factory, but it is very important if you are designing a robot that is meant to be near people. In fact, the study has its own terminology in the field of science, which is called human-robot interaction. For instance, if you clicked on this video and you made it this far in the video, then you must have some sort of fondness or fascination with robots. But the study and the research goes to say that the more human-like a humanoid or geminoid robot is in appearance, the more uncomfortable it tends to make people. As if, in some sense, a human-like robot is lying to us. Using the lower left part of our brain, we don't actually get to control. Which does make sense if we think about the idea of Geminoid robots and remote controlled telepresence. Even if you were aware that your real significant other or relative wasn't available for an important meeting and sent their Geminoid robot twin. Personally, I would feel a little uneasy about the situation. As if your confidant was being somewhat two-faced. Definitely a lot different than the idea of a fully autonomous human-like robot with an artificial brain in its own presence. But in it in its own, that's a Geminoid. Let's face it, living in the year 2023, following the pre-post-apocalypse or pandemic, any normality in life seems to have been thrown out the window. Crypto, blockchains, sex dolls, humanoid robots all seem very normal. In fact, technology trends like artificial intelligence, machine learning, and edge computing have been pumping stock markets and making traders and investors tons of money as smart semiconductor chips are constantly the topic of trade wars. Not financial advice, but here are five publicly traded companies on the stock market related to building semiconductor chips I think have potential to moon and multiply in value. Number five, 
Marvel Technologies, ticker symbol MRVL. As the semiconductor industry's only data infrastructure specialist, Marvel partners with its customers and its open ecosystem to move, process, store, and secure the world's data, while cloud-optimized silicon for data infrastructure, transforming data centers, automotive, enterprise, and carrier architectures for the better. Number 4. Garmin LTD Ticker symbol GRMN Garmin LTD designs, develops, manufactures, and markets handheld, portable, and fixed mount global positioning system enabled products, GPS systems. The company also offers navigation, communication, and information products for the automotive, mobile, outdoor, fitness, marine, and general aviation markets. In fact, Garmin LTD owns the technology for their GPS chips, contract manufacturing with companies like IBM and Texas Instruments. Number 3. Teledyne Ticker symbol TDY. Teledyne Technologies currently operates with four major segments digital imaging, instrumentation, engineered systems, aerospace, and defense electronics. With production capacity up to 80,000 semiconductor based chips per year and very short production cycle times, Teledyne says they can quickly and efficiently produce product lines and provide necessary manufacturing support systems through supply chain management for quality and certification. Number 2. Monolithic Power Systems Incorporated Ticker symbol MPWR Monolithic Power Systems is a leading company at high-performance power solutions. Monolithic Power Systems designs the tiny integrated circuits used to control power supply. These chips are used primarily in cloud computing infrastructure, telecommunications, consumer electronics, robotics, industrial, and automotive applications, which goes to say they are all essential. In fact, Many startups in the past that have been successful, such as Netflix, Uber, Airbnb, etc., all started with monolith architecture. Number 1. On Semiconductor Corporation Ticker symbol ON This company is a longtime supplier to the automotive industry, supplying both chips that go into drivetrains of electric cars, as well as a broad swath of other chips like cameras and sensors that help with driver assistance systems. As a leading semiconductor manufacturer with over 80,000 different parts, including advanced MOSFETs, image sensors, silicon carbide technology, and a global supply chain, ON Semiconductor serves tens of thousands of customers across several markets, enabling them to power the future with intelligent power and sensing technologies. Just when you thought that a $130 million price tag for a smart home equivalent to something tech billionaires like Bill Gates or Elon Musk would live in was too far out of reach to be a goal, let alone owning a three-bedroom house while struggling to pay the mortgage and strata fees or rent on your condo apartment. Well, robotic engineers and the Ori Living Company have found yet another way to use automation to maximize our living spaces with robot automated furniture that would allow the transformation of one bedroom residential flats into multi-purpose spaces. The furniture is adjustable like a transformer, automated and adaptable, which allows a change of space at the click of a button. A bedroom can be converted into an office space, living room, 
or dining room at a click of a button, or even a simple voice command from your smartphone. Who needs a nine-figure smart home when you can have a smart flat? Now, all that is really missing to fully automate the apartment suite would be a humanoid robot to cook dinner and take out the trash. Pushing for the advancement of human-like robots with artificial intelligent brains to walk among us, of course, like some sort of dramatized sci-fi, which living in the present day isn't really far off from reality. Visiting OriLiving.com and doing more research on their robot automated furniture, I should mention this video isn't sponsored. I'm just a fan of everything automated, technology, and robotics. And visiting the website, it turns out you can get in touch with the development sales team at Ori and installation could cost anywhere between 5 and 10,000 US dollars. Though, currently, the company sells its devices only to apartment developers who then rent out the furnished apartments. The company says the spaces can be as little as 350 square feet, so they can cost renters less per month without sacrificing function. Currently, on OriLiving.com, there are about 45 apartment rentals across the United States, ranging from $1,400 a month up to $6,000 depending on what neighborhood and state each apartment location has. Ori Living says they improve developer economics to provide apartments that feel, live, and rent larger.